Okay, so now we're going to hook up the other sonar. When we're done, we're going to have both sonars connected. For this, you will need a red, blue, yellow, and, uh, and black wire for male fe female for hooking up this to this. And, um, okay. Uh, I will bring up the fritzing diagram for both sonars by going to File, Open, and then inside of Build Stages, go to C, both sonars, both sonars.fzz, and that's what this is. And then I will wire up these four extra wires here, the red, blue, yellow, and black. Red, blue, yellow, and black. And keep in mind, this is going to be flipped because this is facing that way, and that one is facing this way. So they have red up at the top, and I'm going to start with red down at the bottom. And more importantly, I'm going to look and see that the label here says VCC at the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. You might have to go to, like, macro setting. Anyway, VCC at the bottom. VCC is always red. And next to that is going to be blue. And it doesn't say goes... these labels in the back. It'll say them in the front. Yeah, it'll say it somewhere. It might say it in between the holder and the PCB for the sonar right in there. It's really hard to see, though, with the camera. So trigger is blue, echo is yellow, and that kind of rhymes, so that's a good way to remember that. Echo, yellow. Hmm. And then black, and again, I'm holding these by the black housing for each one of these wires, and I'm making it so that the metal uh, opening right there is facing this way towards the rest of the Arduino so that it's easy to test with the um, with the connectivity sensor. Multimeter. Multimeter, yeah. Um, so I will hook up black to the blue rail there. I think I have it there in the diagram. And then red to the red rail. So it, sonar sensor will get power now. And the blue goes to pin 7. And the yellow goes to pin 6 right next to it. And now I will, on the computer, go to the Arduino IDE and go to... Uh, whoops. File, sketchbook, see both sonars, and then in this code, um, I will check. It says right echo pin is six. So yellow is right six. Right trigger pin is seven. So six is echo is yellow, and seven is trigger is blue. And now I will hit the upload button up here right here, and then once it's uploaded, um, oh, it says serial port t dev tty acm not found, because I did not plug it in. That helps with connectivity. Yeah, it's better for communicating when they're physically connected. Okay, so now it's uploading. Um, after I connected with the USB cable, I hit the upload button, and now I'm going to hit the serial monitor. And up pops this guy. And it's got two distances now. On the left hand side is the left sensor uh, distance, and the right hand side is the right sensor's distance. Um, and you can see that they're both roughly the same distance from the wall right here, and they're both giving roughly the same distance on this thing. And if I put my hand in front of the right sonar, the distance goes from about 30 centimeters to about 10. Five. I'm moving my hand back and forth. Um, and there's a little bit of noise, so you can see like a 51 jumped in there. And I'll make sure that the left sonar sensor still works. It does. I'm holding my hand in front of it. It goes down to like 6, 7, and I move my hand away and it goes back up to about 30. And that is hooking up both sonar sensors.